High traders S&P 500 registered a second consecutive weekly advance, gained 2.3% while the Nasdaq gained 3.4%, mainly thanks to the technology and biotechnology sectors and surprisingly good April new home sales. Considering last week data, there is even a better chance now for an interest rate hike in June or July. The dollar index was up by 0.4%, getting stronger for the fourth consecutive week and this also shows the expectations for a new rate hike. Now the market is back to 2016 highs and we are not over the highs yet however market direction is still unknown because we didn't get over the recent highs. So as long as we stay just below the recent highs it is very very hard to predict market direction. Let's take a technical view of the market. As we watch the S&P 500 daily, we can see that we are getting very, very close to the 2100 resistance area. It will be very, very hard to the market to cross this area. And again, we can only say that the market is uptrending while and if we're going to close this area. Let's take a look at last week's picks. My first pick for last week was LYB short under $80. It failed. It did trigger. However, the market moved up and LYD LYB failed. My second pick was SSYS, same story. Market did move up, SSYS did trigger, however fail. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is MDT long over $82. MDT, Metronic, is a medical equipment company. It looks great. This is the weekly chart of MDT. My second pick for the week is Baba long over $81.31. Baba has a very, very nice technical formation. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week.